This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, the Data Tools Unit, Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 12. Updating your contacts, adding a contact. When you add a new contact to your app, it currently gets added to your database by calling Create Record. Yeah, so it sends it off to the server to add it to the database. Once this happens, your local copy of contacts is no longer up to date. Right, because we asked to refresh local data only when we started the program. So refresh local data, what does that do? It says, hey server, can you give me my, my contacts that I saved? That's going to return an array. We take that array, which we, we ask it to run this function, so and run this function when that data is done or returned. Okay, and the computer says, yep, here's, here's what we got. And we say, okay, whatever it returns is called records, because that's the parameter. Then we say, assign that to contacts. So we made this variable up here contacts that is an array. So we take whatever is returned from asking for my contacts and reassign contacts or redefine contacts to be equal to that. So contacts start off as equal to nothing, but we do that because we want a global variable and having a variable declared outside of all the functions means every function can use it, can add it, can mess with it which is why it's way up here. So we now reassign or assign records to be equal to contacts. Well, we assign contacts to be equal to records. Um, and now everything can access all of the records by referencing contacts because it is uh, global. Then we say show them. However, if we add a contact, yes, we can see it in the moment, right, when we add it. However, our contact list isn't going to be updated because right here create record, my contact, new contact. So when we add our contact, our save contact button, our new contact button, whatever you have, we create this object, we save all the information, we then output it and send it off to create record, my contacts, new contact. So it's created on the server, but not here. And I'm assuming then what we're going to say is once it is done running this, We'll run a function that uh, updates our uh, our local copy of the contacts, which is probably going to be running a uh, refresh local data. Let's see. Uh, we can address this by calling refresh local data anytime we add anything to the database. For example, anytime we create a record, we can refresh the local data as soon as we know the new record was successfully added. Yep. Your code and database for the Contacts app is provided. Your app adds a new contact to the database when you click Save Contact button. Add a call to refresh local data inside the callback function of Create Record. Move the line of Update Current Index from the Event Handler for Save Contact button into Yes. Yes, this is important as well. Here, let's go through why. You need to... Since we're making something, we, uh, so what we're going to do, well, I shouldn't do that, okay. We need a function call, and what are we going to call? Well, we're going to be calling the refresh, uh, refresh local data. Right, which was the function we were just looking at, but asks the server for the information and saves it to current index, and then everything can access current index because that's a global variable. So now the reason this makes sense is we wait until the um, we wait until we create the record. So we ask the computer now create record my contact right and for my contacts new contact. I mean we're asking the server to do this. Once the server responds, that means the action has been completed. So once the server responds with whatever, the function will run, and then we refresh our local data because we know something new is saved. Now, we need to keep in mind, we want to move the line to update current index from the event handler to the save contact. So here is our index, right? And now we want to move it to refresh local data. So I'm going to use copy-paste. Because we don't actually want to change the index until this is successful here. We could also put it in here, but we don't want to change the index until this is successful 
Oh, and then, well, I'll get to that part. Show current con Oh no, we don't want to update. We don't want to update it. We want to update it in here. And then show contact. Do they? Yes. And so we can then set the screen. So share co current contact grabs all that data. And then once, once that function is done running, and again, that function will only run once we have added something, right? So we're, well, we're only running it. We're only running refresh local data once we know that we have saved something new to our cloud server, right? So the cloud says, yes, saved. And then it allows this function to run. We refresh our local data, which grabs that new info off the server. And then we, uh, and then it also outputs the new info and we set the screen to it. So this way we never edit our data locally. It's always updated in one location and it streamlines. It's just better for management of applications. Run the program, confirm that when you add a contact to your database, you can also see it in your app. Now, when you run your program, a different contact gets displayed first. Why? But um, I would assume it depends on the um, array that is returned by our server. And let's go ahead and add our contact. Testing this out. Mighty Mouse it is because I'm looking for a public domain. And Mighty Mouse will say 19421961. Yep, that, great. And birthday, well, it appears, um, I don't know, somewhere around 41, 15, 19, 42. I do have an image uh, that I'm going to paste. But da uh, Save. There's Mighty Mouse. Let's go around. And remember, Bob doesn't have an image. Okay. Now to try to see if this is actually working. Yeah, we got it. We got it. And then let's check the data. Ta-da! Victory. Interesting. So watch, right? When you add something new, it's first. So I, let's see. Now, when you run your program, a different contact gets displayed first. Why? Since you move the line to update current index, now every time you call refresh local data, the current index gets set to the newest character in your database, which means show, uh, <laughs> right. uh, show current contact will display the most recent added contact. So when you call refresh local data at the beginning of the program, yep, you're going to load it. And what they're saying here, right up here, so the second we load refresh data, it says get the length of the contact array minus one. So that's going to be the last index in it. And that will be the most recently added contact. So this is working great. And it even works when I do this. So that is awesome. I wonder if we'll keep adding and building on this or who knows. Um, but great. But uh, onward.